Uh, let me just start, start off by saying uh, some of the people are with us today. Our state assemblywoman, Shelly Mayer, is with us today. Uh, we have the minority leader of Yonkers City Council, Mike Sabatino. We have Wilson Kimball, the commissioner of the, for the Department of Planning and Development. Kevin Kakase, president of the Yonkers Chamber of Commerce. Dan Lipka, who is the director, executive director for the Yonkers Downtown Waterfront Bid. Uh, uh, Ken Roy Walters, uh, program manager for the South uh, Broadway bid. Uh, of course, you know, we all know John Rubo and Nick Califano, the owners of Yonkers Brewing Company. You know, from its early days as a sawmill uh, town to some of the world's most important inventions, Yonkers has a long history of making things. Alicia Otis invented the safety elevator here, making skyscrapers possible. Uh, Charles Harvey of Yonkers built the first elevated train line, which paved the way for the subway system and mass transit. Uh, Edward Armstrong invented FM radio. Uh, first, the, the uh, plastic was invented right here in Yonkers from Leo, Leo Bake, Bakeland. Uh, and the first game of golf in America was played right here in Yonkers. Uh, today, Kawasaki builds trains that run around the entire world. And, uh, and they're built right here in Yonkers. Domino Sugar uh, continues to refine its product right here in our waterfront. Uh, and the app developers of MindSpark and the bioengineers of Contrafect are leading Yonkers into the new economy. Yonkers is big, I'm sorry, Yonkers businesses, big or small, are creating jobs and helping build the American dream by making things right here in our city. Uh, it's because of our local businesses that we've seen unemployment fall from 9.1% when we took office four years ago uh, to 5.7% uh, today. We've seen our economy improve with more residents and visitors shopping and spending money right here in Yonkers. And our housing market is strong. People are moving to Yonkers and we are now the second fastest growing city, uh, big city in New York State. So we're here today to launch uh, Made in Yonkers Week. Starting today with the Yonkers Brewing Company and each day uh, this entire week, we're going to take you to a different business in Yonkers and show how they make it and where they make it. From beer to coffee to the pop-up displays you see in the, grocery, uh, in the grocery store, you're going to see how it's made here in Yonkers. And we'll release a new video each day on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, and of course on our new website we've created at yonkersny.gov backward slash made. We also, we also have Made in Yonkers stickers and you'll see them right here backwards, Made in Yonkers stickers available for businesses to proudly display this in their storefront. Uh, contact our office or visit the website to request a sticker. I encourage you, I encourage everyone to tune in this week and if there's a business that you'd like us to visit, uh, just give us a call and let us, let us know so that we can come out and highlight your business as well. I'm going to ask uh, uh, John Rubo and Nick Califano to say a few words that they were gracious enough to host us here today. So I'd like them to say a few words. John. Thank you and welcome to Yonkers Brewing Company. Uh, we just want to thank Mayor Spano and for all of his support and guidance and through the Office of Economic Development in helping us open this in just uh, through construction what was really 10 short weeks. Uh, we're here now since January of 2015 and we're very happy to be here on the Yonkers waterfront and to be part of a very long history of things that were made in Yonkers. We're very proud to say that our beer here is made in Yonkers. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to personally thank the mayor and the office and everybody involved uh, in helping us get this started. John and I, born and raised in Yonkers, it was very important for us to, to build this brewery in Yonkers. And again, we're very happy to make the beer for Yonkers in Yonkers. Thank you. We even have these in t-shirts, which is great, uh, especially for those of us who were made in Yonkers. <laughs> I can wear this. <laughs> We have Kevin Kikase, who's the uh, head of the Yonkers Industrial Development Agency. Um, sorry, Chamber of Commerce. I'm the head of the Yonkers Industrial <laughs> Development Agency. Kevin. Thank you, Mayor. And it is good afternoon. Um, 
You know, it's a great thing to, to celebrate the things that have been made in Yonkers. Over the years, I mean, we've been very important in the industrial world, whether it's the, the folks that the mayor mentioned, or it's Otis Elevator, or the Alexander Smith Carpet Shop. I mean, Alexander Smith Carpet Shop actually made the rugs that went down with the Titanic. I mean, it goes back that far. We have uh, new cutting edge businesses coming in today, and this is, I, I, I fully endorse this uh, Made in Yonkers, and I think that not only should we look for the Made in Yonkers uh, symbol, but we should buy in Yonkers. Have a great day. We like making Yonkers, we like buying Yonkers, we like for all of you to come to Yonkers. Uh, we have uh, the head of the, of the bid, who works very, very hard for, on our behalf, uh, Dan Lipka. I'd like Dan to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor Spano. This is really exciting, Made in Yonkers. Uh, I'm one of those people who was Made in Yonkers, born here quite a while ago, and it's made tremendous progress since that time, especially downtown Yonkers. Small businesses, Yonkers businesses, are the heart of everything that's happening down here. There's over 250 businesses within a 10 minute walk of here, all providing unique things that Yonkers is putting their own stamp, their own personality on. And it's just tremendous to see all this happening and to honor their hard work and commitment to the city, city of Yonkers is wonderful. So I just want to thank Mayor Spano and everybody, and especially the businesses that do spend their time, money, and resources in Yonkers for being here. Thank you. And we're also joined by the councilman for the area, Chris Johnson. I'd like Chris to come up and speak on behalf of the city council. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. As you all know, it's special to be in Yonkers. It's special to come to Yonkers, but it's even more special to be made in Yonkers and to serve Yonkers. So I just want to make sure that uh, as we continue to celebrate uh, those businesses who have been made in Yonkers, that we recognize how special that truly is, and that we make sure that we, as, as was said earlier, that we patronize those businesses, and that we show those businesses that truly being in Yonkers means you're going to get support from Yonkers, means you're going to continue to grow in Yonkers, um, because being from Yonkers is a special thing. So thank you to all those businesses that are made in Yonkers, and thank you, Mayor, for highlighting these small businesses, because they're truly the backbone of, of our business districts. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Ali Mudano and this is Made in Yonkers, where we're taking a look at specialty items created right here in our city of Yonkers. Today we're taking a tour of Yonkers Brewing Company, located at 92 Main Street along the waterfront. But it's not the first brewery at this location. Back in 1860, Dutch Schultz brewed beer to patrons of the Prohibition era. The difference between then and now? This time it's legal. Let's head inside and meet the team behind Yonkers Brewing Co., or as they call themselves, the Brew Crew. Sharif, walk us through the brewing process. It starts right over here. Yeah, so it starts over at the mill, and what we do is we take uh, malted barley, and we uh, crush it so that we can get to the insides, which have all the uh, fun sugars that create food for the yeast to eat. So once uh, the grain is milled, uh, we put it in the middle vessel over here. Okay. Uh, and it's called the mash tun. And what we're doing is it's like we're creating a big porridge. So we mix water at about 150 degrees with the grain. And what that does is it converts the starches into sugars. And that process takes about an hour. After we do that, we want to coax all of that sugar out of the out of the grain. So using the vessel on the far right, uh, we actually rinse. It's a technique called sparging. We sparge the grain and we collect all the runnings in this vessel over here, which is our boil kettle. Okay, it's hot, so we're like so we're hot, boiling. Yeah. It's hot, so yeah, it's, a, it's boiling at about 212 degrees. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is the hot side of the process, you could say. So this is the cold side of the brewery. And so what happens is after we've boiled the wort and added the hops, uh, we have to start the fermentation process. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll transfer the beer into one of these vessels. Okay. It's called a cylindroconical fermenter because of the cone at the 
the bottom. And um, once we add the yeast, it'll generally take about seven to ten days to finish fermenting. Uh, this is where we'll carbonate the beer. So uh, there's actually giant carbonation stones in the beer, and we'll pump a little bit of CO2 through it. Okay. Just so we can get the carbonation just right for when we serve it at the bar. And let's talk about some of the beers that are served here. You guys operate four different types of yeast? Yes. So uh, generally, uh, we've got a couple different yeast strains uh, roaming around the brewery. Okay. Uh, in the summer, we bring in a German wheat strain and a Belgian Saison strain. Okay. Uh, and we always have uh, an American ale strain here, which is the foundation of all of our pale ales, uh, our stouts, and uh, some other beers that we make as well. So, John and Nick, why did you want to make beer in Yonkers? We wanted to make beer in Yonkers because it's our hometown. Yeah, we have a long history here. Our grandfathers are from here. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to keep it, keep it in the city. And your favorite beer, if you had to pick one? My favorite beer is our Vienna Lager. Yeah, mine's our IPA. I think it's just very drinkable and uh, thrown back. So we've uh, seen how it's made. Should we go see the final product? Yeah, yeah sure let's thing. go. I'm John. I'm Nick. And we're proud to make beer in Yonkers.